values. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly not all proofs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> not usually my proofs. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They can be. Oh, absolutely. It's like uh, looking at to a woman dressed very elegantly and to another that doesn't look after herself very well. And uh, it's difficult to explain in words, but if you see it, you see it immediately. One of the parts about uh, beautiful proof is that it should be uh, minimalistic, it should be concise, uh, but uh, uh, I guess uh, in, in many cases, uh, the proof is also unexpected. But I think there is beauty in the sense that, if, particularly if it's a simple uh, proof where you can immediately uh, sort of follow it the first time round, that, that is obviously a very beautiful proof. If a proof runs to a whole book, well, OK, it's a proof, but I mean, heck, we're going to read a whole book, of, so that's not beautiful. I went into a classroom recently and explained the proof of Pythagoras' theorem to a group of, of nine-year-olds and I really did the proof and it's so exceptionally beautiful. It's an idea that when you see it you just think oh wow. In mathematics there is a certain inevitability about a good proof. There's a certain feeling that this must be the right way to do it. The great Hungarian mathematician Paul Erdős uh, whom I knew quite well, uh, used to say that when he went to heaven, God would show him the golden book which had the best proofs of all the theorems. And his great ambition in life was that when he went to heaven and saw the golden book, he'd find one of his own proofs in the book. Yeah, I mean, the, some of the ideas can be, can be said to be beautiful, uh, some of the results can be said to be beautiful, but mathematics has its own system of uh, aesthetics that's, uh, that's pretty hard to define, in a, in a way. Uh, but you can't for an outsider yeah, yeah, to I feel mean, whether this formula is beautiful, say, yeah, right. I remember I had once a conversation with some artists about beauty. You know, they asked me what beauty is in mathematics. What, uh, when, when do we call a formula beautiful, for instance? So like, a, say, a simple formula like everybody knows, like E equals MC squared or something like this, so which many, which most people find beautiful who understand it. And if you think why you find it beautiful, it, conveys, it, it contains a lot of information in a very condensed way and it connects things which were previously unconnected, like energy and mass and the speed of light. It gives a totally new perspective of some, on something. The funny thing in that conversation was so the artists, some of them were photographers, and they were saying, basically, you can say all of these things as well about a picture. You know? So I think, uh, I think the concept of beauty is, is kind of the same which you use in mathematics and in other fields. It's just that it's a bit harder to convey because the language in which things are expressed is not so easily accessible for other people. Still, I think that the beauty is more a beauty of the idea. So it's the idea or the reasoning or the way the idea is deduced or some of the connections which are made that have their own beauty. So it's not a visual beauty of the imagination. It's really the beauty. <laughs> it's beautiful thinking or it's beautiful reasoning. It's, it's a bit like developing a language and it, uh, it should be a, a beautiful language and it's, it's more fun to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> there are some proofs that actually you notice some trick and then the problem just breaks. And this is quite beautiful. Yes, I mean if it's simple, if it's not very complicated, if one can explain the idea of the proof in yeah. a simple way, then it can be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Somehow if you feel why it's true. Not only that you have the proof that is logically carried through, but you understand why the result is true.
Yeah, proof is a is a process. You you know you move from one step to another, and the more you can um, make that that process uh, you know as straight and as as sleek as possible with no little deviations, um, the more beautiful it becomes. The main appeal of mathematics is its beauty. But again, I think, as I hinted at before, I think this beauty derives from the clarity of mathematics. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I think it's all, it's, mathematics to some extent is like an art. Well, the symbols themselves and how they are ordered and, and how you sort your arguments, I still call it elegant. What I think about, the kind of pictures it causes in my head, what this represents, yeah, that's beautiful. A clean direction of the proof and how things fit together, uh, and yeah, elegance is really what's it. It comes in the music of Sibelius and the 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 Greek plays as well. You know, just raw ideas, but expressed in such a concise, effective way that it's brilliant. And if you ask somebody the question, "Why is that mountain beautiful?" I think they'd struggle to answer it. And I think the same way, if you ask me why is a proof beautiful, I struggle to answer it. It's just some proofs, some very nice simple arguments, I think are beautiful. It has some aesthetic appeal that this is a nice thing, like a nice object that you'd want to hold in your hand and it feels good to look at it and to hold it.